Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. In this video, guys, we'll talk about jQuery first and last letters. Suppose, guys, you are making a record of a class and you want to find out which student is at first position and which student is at last position. Then you can use jQuery first and last letters. So, for that, I'll use a, another list. Great. I'll create four list items. So, I'll write here row number one and then name of the course I write BCA and then for a bachelor in computer applications so I write ratio name of the student and then marks how much marks he has obtained so I'll copy it paste it I'll change the name also Nathan Ashwin and then Maria so and write 800, 700, 600 guys in this story we are not using any database so that's why I have to type it manually otherwise if you will do this with database and you will show records according to your according to marks obtained by the students means you will use order by close in SQL then you will find this to find this thing very helpful for you uh, so in this tutorial we are not using any database so I have to type it manually means student has was obtained top and then uh, first position and last position so I wanna highlight these records first and last so for that first we have create a class I give it a color of red and uh, I will give it a background of uh, red and uh, color of white and background of red so with the jQuery I will apply some action to it so firstly I'll open it in browser now we'll see I wanna highlight the first record and last record so I will type dollar sign brackets and then ally because we're selecting from list items and then colon first name of the selector then dot add class add classes in camel case C is capital and then single quotes red name of the class class means it will apply this class to first element of first list element so if I refresh I will see it is applied to first uh, first record so in the same way if I want to apply this to the last record so I write the last if I refresh now you can see so uh, this was about jQuery first and last lecture so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see you in the next tutorial